Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of my reference playlist. I haven't done one of these videos in a while and since I need this particular item for the next project, I thought I'd split it off and do a quick little video on its own. Today's item doesn't have much in the way of a workable pattern as things will vary depending on your chosen dimensions. Instead, this video will show how you can use a template to help keep things consistent when freehanding small accessories like these. But with that being said, let's get into it. For this video, I'm going to be using Flutterby yarn in green, white and a matching acrylic yarn in green as well. I will also be using this flat wire shown here. I ordered it from Amazon and I'm using wire because I can shape it and that allows me to make it a separate removable object independent of which amigurumi it gets put on. It allows wriggle room for different head sizes. If you are going to sew this permanently onto your amigurumi then you can skip the wire or use a plastic zip tie or even some cardboard instead. I would also suggest considering ribbons as they would be really cute. But the decision is entirely up to you. To begin, I roughly draft a template on some paper. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage, it's really just to have a rough idea of the shape and size you're aiming for. I roughly draw out each section and then cut out the shapes. I pin the template onto my handy amigurumi mannequin head and make adjustments as needed. With the template just the way I want it, I start work on the inner part of the earmuffs. This can all be done in one colour, but for mine I wanted to have two colours, white on the inside and green on the outside. I crocheted a circle using the template as a guide to make sure that I'm keeping to the right size. The template pieces are slightly smaller than the end result due to the thicker yarn that I'm using. Or to put it another way, if you match the circle to the size of the template here, the final product will end up being slightly bigger due to the stuffing and everything else you'll do later on. I also glued a small wooden disc to the white piece to make sure it stays absolutely flat. For the outer part of the earmuff, I start with the green yarn to make a dome with the same diameter as the inner part. It's possible to make earmuffs all in one piece, but this approach lets me ensure one side is distinctly domed and the other is flat. And before you mention the back loops, I know, it could have been done that way but I find a decreased dome doesn't look as good. There are arguments for both. You can try whatever way you feel comfortable with though, as neither option is wrong in any way or shape or form or size. So with the second part complete, I slip stitch the two parts together and lightly stuff the whole thing. I leave a couple of stitches unworked so that I'll be able to insert the band part later.
obviously you need to make two of these. And with the magic of editing, here are mine. For the band that connects the two earpieces, I crocheted a long tube using the acrylic yarn. I make it slightly longer so that I'll be able to stuff the ends into the earpieces. I next cut the flat wire to size and sand down the sharp edges to round them off to help stop them from poking through and then push them through the tube. For the final assembly, it's just a matter of attaching the band to the earpieces and then sewing them into place. And of course, here's the part where you can add accessories, you can add buttons if you're doing headphones, and maybe even possibly LED lights, who knows? Not experimenting with LED lights just yet, but the possibilities are endless. Obviously, I then had to do a little bit more sewing to secure everything into place, because I don't want anything to come out or get undone. So I wanted this to be absolutely extra secure. I then used a vitamin tablet bottle to bend it into shape. You can obviously use a glass or a cup or a spray can, whatever cylindrical object that has the radius you're after. You'll end up with a nice and even curve that way. You could also bend it manually, you know, the decision is entirely your choice. Let me just thank you all for watching guys. Even though this is an accessory for the next project, I don't really think it spoils much. Oh, and incidentally, you can use this method to make headphones as well, as I mentioned earlier. But anyway, while you're still here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and even consider subscribing if you like the content I create. This helps me out a lot and it helps with the algorithm gods. So help a girl out. Don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll leave you with some shots of these vital winter wear accessories modelled by some of my previous guests. See you in the next one. Bye.